Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like Nyama. Grilled or roasted meat, such as beef or chicken, often seasoned with spices and served on skewers. In Zimbabwe, Nyama simply means meat in the Shona language. It refers to a variety of meats, including beef, chicken, goat, and pork, that are commonly enjoyed as a key component of many traditional Zimbabwean dishes. Nyama is a versatile ingredient and can be prepared in various ways, such as grilling, roasting, stewing, or frying. Nyama is a significant part of Zimbabwean cuisine, and it's often seasoned with spices and herbs to enhance its flavor. Here are a few popular dishes and preparations that feature Nyama. Nyama Choma Grilled or roasted meat, often seasoned with spices and served on skewers. It's a beloved street food and a popular choice for social gatherings. Sadza and Nyama A traditional meal that includes sadza, maize meal porridge, served with a meaty relish, such as beef, chicken, or goat. It's a staple dish in Zimbabwean cuisine. Stews Nyama is commonly used in hearty stews, such as beef stew or chicken stew, which are simmered with vegetables and flavored with a mix of spices. Nyama Nemba. Roasted pork, often seasoned with spices and herbs, and enjoyed as a flavorful snack or meal. Chicken and rice. Nyama, particularly chicken, is often used in rice dishes where it's cooked with rice and a blend of spices to create a flavorful and satisfying meal. Braai. Nyama is often prepared on a braai, barbecue, and served with a variety of side dishes like sadza, vegetables, and sauces. Nyama Dovi. A traditional dish featuring meat, nyama, cooked in a creamy peanut butter sauce, often served with sadza or rice. Mixed grill. Nyama can be part of a mixed grill, featuring a combination of meats like beef, chicken, and sausage, often accompanied by vegetables and grilled bread. Nyama pops. Skewered and grilled or roasted meat popsicles, a popular street food. Fried nyama. Some meats, like chicken and goat, can be deep fried to create crispy and flavorful dishes. Nyama plays a central role in Zimbabwean cuisine, and the way it's prepared and enjoyed varies across the country. It's an integral part of traditional meals, street food offerings, and festive gatherings, showcasing the rich flavors of Zimbabwean cooking. Maputi. Roasted or popped maize kernels, similar to popcorn but with a distinct local flavor. Maputi are a popular Zimbabwean snack made from roasted or popped maize kernels, similar to popcorn but with a distinct local flavor. They are a beloved street food and a common snack enjoyed by people of all ages throughout Zimbabwe. Maputi are known for their satisfying crunch and are often sold by street vendors in small packets or bags. Here's how they are typically prepared. Ingredients. Dried maize kernels, corn. Cooking oil, such as vegetable oil or peanut oil. Salt. For seasoning, optional. Instructions. Select and clean the maize. Start with dried maize kernels. You can use either yellow or white maize, depending on your preference. Ensure that the maize kernels are clean and free from any debris or foreign matter. Heat the oil. In a deep frying pan or a large pot, heat cooking oil over medium-high heat. You'll need enough oil to fully submerge the maize kernels. Add the maize kernels. Carefully add the dried maize kernels to the hot oil. Be cautious, as the kernels may pop and splatter as they heat up. Use a deep frying basket or a slotted spoon to add and remove them from the oil safely. Fry the maize kernels. Fry the maize kernels until they puff up and turn a golden brown color. This usually takes just a few minutes. Keep a close eye on them to prevent overcooking, as they can become bitter if fried for too long. Remove and drain. Use a slotted spoon to remove the popped maize kernels from the hot oil, allowing any excess oil to drain back into the pan. Place them on a plate or tray lined with paper towels to absorb any remaining oil. Season. While the maputi are still warm, you can season them with salt if desired. Toss them gently to ensure even distribution of the salt. Cool and serve. Allow the maputi to cool completely before serving. They should be crisp and crunchy once cooled. Maputi are typically enjoyed as a snack on their own, and their salty, nutty flavor makes them quite addictive. They are also commonly sold in small packets or bags by street vendors and in local markets, making them a convenient and affordable treat for people on the go in Zimbabwe. Borrowers. A South African sausage popular in Zimbabwe, often grilled and served in a roll with condiments. Borrowers is a flavorful and popular sausage in Zimbabwe, as well as in neighboring South Africa, where it originated. 
It's known for its distinctive coiled shape and rich, spiced flavor. Borrowers is often enjoyed as a street food, grilled at outdoor markets, festivals, and barbecues, or as a filling for sandwiches. Here's more information about this delicious sausage. Ingredients. Borrowers is traditionally made from a mixture of ground meat, usually beef or a combination of beef and pork, although other meats like game or lamb may also be used. The meat is typically mixed with a blend of spices, including coriander, black pepper, cloves, and allspice. Vinegar and salt are used for flavor and to aid in preservation. The mixture is then encased in a natural sausage casing, often made from sheep intestine. Preparation. Grinding and mixing. The meat is coarsely ground, and the spices are mixed into the meat along with vinegar and salt. The mixture is thoroughly combined to evenly distribute the spices. Stuffing. The seasoned meat mixture is stuffed into natural sausage casings. The casings are then twisted at regular intervals to create the characteristic coiled shape of borrowers. Resting. The sausage is allowed to rest for a period, typically overnight, to allow the flavors to meld and develop. Cooking. Borrowers is cooked or grilled over an open flame or on a barbecue until it's browned and cooked through. The coiled sausages are often cooked intact and then sliced into portions. Serving. Borrowers can be served in various ways. As a sausage. It can be enjoyed as a sausage on its own, sliced into portions, and eaten with your hands. In a roll. It's often served in a roll, similar to a hot dog, and garnished with condiments like tomato sauce, ketchup, mustard, onions, and pickles. With pap. Borrowers is a popular accompaniment to pap, maize porridge, or sadza, a similar Zimbabwean dish, often served with a tomato-based sauce or chutney. At Bry's, barbecues, borrowers is a staple at South African and Zimbabwean barbecues, known as, Bry's. It's cooked over an open flame and enjoyed as part of a festive outdoor meal. Borrowers is celebrated for its robust and savory flavor, making it a favorite among meat lovers. It's an iconic part of Southern African cuisine and is enjoyed by people throughout the region as a delicious and satisfying food option, whether served as street food, at social gatherings, or as a meal at home. Chibbage. Roasted or boiled sweet potatoes, a popular street snack. Chibbage is a Zimbabwean term that refers to roasted or boiled sweet potatoes. This simple and nutritious snack is a common street food in Zimbabwe and is enjoyed for its natural sweetness and satisfying texture. Chibbage can be prepared in a variety of ways to suit different tastes. Here's how it's typically prepared. Roasted chibbage. Select fresh sweet potatoes. Choose fresh, unblemished sweet potatoes from the market or grocery store. There are different varieties of sweet potatoes, and you can select your preferred type. Clean and peel. Optional. Rinse the sweet potatoes under running water to remove any dirt. You can peel the skin if desired, or you can leave it on for a more rustic texture. Slice or cut into chunks. Slice the sweet potatoes into rounds or cut them into smaller chunks for faster cooking. The size of the pieces can vary depending on your preference. Seasoning, optional, sweet potatoes can be enjoyed plain, but you can also season them with a sprinkle of salt, sugar, or spices like cinnamon or nutmeg for added flavor. Roasting. If you're roasting the sweet potatoes, you can do so in an oven or over an open flame or grill. To roast in the oven, preheated to around 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius, place the sweet potato pieces on a baking sheet and roast until they're tender and slightly caramelized, typically for 30 to 45 minutes. Boiled chibbage. Prepare sweet potatoes. Rinse and peel the sweet potatoes if desired, and then cut them into chunks or rounds. Boiling. Place the sweet potato pieces in a pot of boiling water. Cook them until they become tender and can be easily pierced with a fork or knife, which usually takes around 15 to 20 minutes. Drain and serve. Once the sweet potatoes are boiled, drain the water and serve them hot. Serving. Roasted or boiled chibbage is typically enjoyed as a snack or side dish. They can be served on their own, as their natural sweetness is often sufficient for many people's tastes. However, some enjoy them with a sprinkle of salt or a drizzle of honey for added flavor. Chibbage is a nutritious and satisfying street food in Zimbabwe, perfect for a quick and tasty snack. Mutakura. Grilled or roasted corn on the cob, typically seasoned with spices and butter. Mutakura is a term in Zimbabwean cuisine that refers to roasted or grilled meat, often enjoyed as a snack or at social gatherings. It can encompass various types of meat, including beef, chicken, pork, or even game meat like venison. 
Mutakura is typically seasoned with spices and cooked over an open flame or grill to achieve a smoky and flavorful result. Here's how mutakura is commonly prepared. Ingredients. Meat of your choice, e.g., beef, chicken, pork. Spices and seasonings. Common choices include salt, black pepper, paprika, garlic, and sometimes chili powder for heat. Cooking oil, optional, for basting. Skewers or sticks, for grilling. Instructions. Prepare the meat. Cut the meat into bite-sized pieces or strips. If using bone in meat, you can keep them in larger pieces for grilling. Season the meat. Season the meat with your choice of spices and seasonings. You can create a flavorful marinade by mixing the spices with a bit of cooking oil to coat the meat evenly. Allow the meat to marinate for at least 30 minutes or longer for more flavor penetration. Skewer the meat. Thread the marinated meat pieces onto skewers or sticks. This helps keep the meat together while grilling and makes it easier to turn on the grill. Preheat the grill. Preheat your grill or barbecue to medium-high heat. Ensure it's hot before placing the skewers on it. Grill the meat. Place the skewers with the seasoned meat on the grill. You can baste the meat with additional oil or marinade as it cooks to keep it moist and enhance flavor. Grill the meat, turning the skewers occasionally, until it's cooked to your desired level of doneness and has a nice charred and smoky flavor. Cooking times may vary depending on the meat and its thickness. Serve hot. Remove the skewers from the grill, and let the mutakura cool for a minute or two before serving. Mutakura is typically enjoyed hot and can be served with a variety of condiments, such as barbecue sauce, spicy relish, or a squeeze of lemon for added zest. Mutakura is a popular street food and a favorite snack at social gatherings, barbecues, and outdoor events in Zimbabwe. Its delicious flavor and smoky aroma make it a delightful treat for meat enthusiasts.